Food oh. for the hair. We're going to save money and get your hair to look shiny and healthy with items you already have in your kitchen. Joining us with some great homemade remedies is stylist Berlin. Thank you for Hi, having Berlin. me. Hi, Berlin. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Now, is this possible? It is absolutely possible. Now, how did you figure this out? Well, when, when I was a kid, when we were in the punk rock scene, you would color your hair with Kool-Aid. You would bleach your hair out, and you could use Kool-Aid to color your hair. I didn't know that. Absolutely, it's it's, it's the Kool-Aid without sugar in it. It's important not to use the the pure pigment Kool-Aid, but Why? it's just because it's just pigment, and you don't want the sugar because you don't want it to be sticky. Oh. And the the Kool-Aid without sugar is just pure pigment. Okay, so how do I put this together? So you, it's already mixed in the bottle, but you would oh. take um, two one to two tablespoons of Kool-Aid for 16 ounces, and one tablespoon to half a tablespoon for eight ounces. Okay. And the one that you have in your hand is great for highlighted hair. It will tone down the highlights if they're brassy. It'll kind of bring it down to a beachy, sandy color. The opposite of yellow and gold is, is purple or mauve. Oh. So the grape, and you can pour it into the little glass container there, wow. and you'll see that it smells like grape. Oh my gosh, I just want to drink it. And is it, it just water? Out, and oh, it's just why shampoo? is it so thick? Because it's a shampoo. It's just shampoo oh, mixed you with mix? the Kool-Aid. Oh, you don't use any water whatsoever. Okay. And then the second one is the black cherry that I chose. Okay, and black cherries for what color? And hair? Jack, for the color like your your hair color. Oh, darker hair. Darker hair. It'll warm it up. It'll add some red tones to it, and it's just like tea in a coffee cup. Over time, it stains a little bit more, and it becomes a little more vibrant. And it's wow. a great way to make your own shampoos. Usually, color shampoos run twenty to twenty-five, thirty dollars. You can do this for under ten dollars. So this is for hair that's already highlighted. It's not going to make this, my hair brown. This or... would be for brown or reds, okay. and it wouldn't make it brown. It'll just warm it up. Okay, and got the it. other is to tone down brassiness. Wow, in like highlighted so hair. Good. My yeah. hair would smell so good. That's awesome. Okay, now we want to do something for shiny hair, right? This is shiny, and um, hair is made of protein. Okay. So when it starts breaking and it gets really brittle, you want something that's going to strengthen the hair and add shine to it. Okay. So egg whites, pure protein. <gasps> so you can separate the egg whites, yogurt. It's very moisturizing for the hair. Rosemary for fragrance. You can use, you can use um, mint. We have some mint in there as oh, well. Lavender. Lavender. Okay. Even if you use essential oils for like aromatherapy, you could add a little drop of that as well. Okay. And a little lemon juice because lemon is acidic and it closes the cuticle down and keeps all that going inside of it. Throw it in a food processor or a blender. I prefer a food processor. It's a little bit easier, but you can do it with a blender. And if it's, you know, with the yogurt, it mixes really well. And you can put it in an application bottle, put it in your hair, cover it with a bag, 10 to 30 minutes. Rinse it out with your shampoo and conditioner, and it's a great treatment for your hair. Now, I heard you could also use, what, egg whites for, like, if you need a quick gel? Quick you gel. To... You take a little egg white, whip it up with some water, and you can put it in your hair, and it gives you that spiky, wet look, and it'll just dry really Why nicely. Why am I thinking there's something about Mary right now? <laughs> you know? <laughs> if you put that in there? Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I don't know if Mary would put it in there, but <laughs> okay, okay. Martin might. <laughs> okay, and then over here, we're going to do something for, what, deep conditioning? This is for a moisturizing conditioner, and... It's a deep conditioning. It's avocado, and we're actually going to mix that up today. So you can Ooh. put the avocado in. This is weird. And we could use it. The, and okay. then you're going to use a little flaxseed for texture. Why flaxseed? Flaxseed flax would... is really great for your hair. It's great for your skin. So it's going it, to. Our hair has oil naturally. So and we're going to add a little flaxseed oil with that. It, and I like the seed because it just gives the it some texture. So it's just not creamy by itself. Okay. And a little water. And I noticed that shampoos are promoting the fact that they have avocado. Because it's a great moisturizing okay. property and it's very natural. And again, I use rosemary with this for some fragrance. Oh yeah. And you just I'm put sorry. that in. Oh, that would smell weird. Okay. <laughs> All of that? Okay. And we're going to put that in and hit the little push button here. And we'll mix it up. We could eat this. And you could eat it. You can pull your chips out and the magic of... You can of, like scoop chips out of your hair. <laughs> yeah, out of your hair. <laughs> and the magic of television. Here is our treatment here. So I would just smear this? You could take a brush and that's how we applied it. And you could take a brush and you could just add it to the roots of the hair. Oh, okay. And run it through your hair that way. And, and then we have some video, right? Yes. You did this? Yes. Who did you do this? With uh, my model, Lois, we just started at the roots, and we ran it through the hair. We started at the front, worked our way back, and then pulled it through the ends. Okay. After you get the hair really saturated, you're going to cover it with a bag. You can even put it under heat if you want, if it's really, really dry hair. Like a blow dryer? A or? blow dryer, or okay. if you have an old hood dryer or something. Okay. Some people have those. And then you're going to, again, wash it out with your regular shampoo and conditioner, and your hair is going to feel really, really good. How long do you leave it in for? 10 to 30 minutes, depending on how damaged wow, the hair is. Wow, look at this. Lois is getting like a guacamole She's conditioner. She's getting a guacamole fix-up right there. <laughs> you're so brave, Lois. <laughs> Live on TV. And look at Lois now. And look at her now. Wow, your hair looks great. Thank you. Do you notice the difference? 
Do you feel different? It felt real cool and refreshing uh -huh. on your head. And my hair feels really healthy. Yeah. It does. does it feel softer to you? Yes, it does. Oh, my gosh. It feels great. Thank and you. And we had a little snack. And we had a little <laughs> snack. You could save the extras for later. Absolutely. For a little and appetizer before each dinner. Each one of these can be made for under $10. It's a, I, I came up with the idea because my clients have been wanting to cut costs. And rather than cutting costs on your haircuts or your color, you might cut your costs on your product a little bit. So these are all things that can be found in the grocery it's or, or in your own kitchen or in your garden. Uh -huh. And you can just whip them up under 10 bucks, And it's great. It does great things for your hair. Yeah. Well, I, have a, do, I do have a quick question because yes. a lot of kids have been swimming all summer. And I know blonde hair turns green yes. sometimes. So what do we do about that? I know my hair turned red when I swam all summer. A great way to pull out that kind of slimy texture you get yes. from the chlorine and stuff and the green is uh, club soda. You can rinse your hair for like five days in a row, um, about a week and a half. And if you rinse it with some club soda, the properties in the in the carbonation break, help pull oh. break down the minerals and pull that oh. out of your hair. It's a great so way. So you shampoo first shampoo, and then rinse it and out, rinse it out with, with club, club soda. soda. Yeah. Wow, so many secrets. Yeah, and Berlin, we can find you at David and Friends Salon in San Francisco. Still at David and Friends Salon in San okay, Francisco. Okay, well, you've done some great hairstyles and thank you so much, Lois, for being our little guinea pig. Thanks. Let me smell your hair. Oh, you can't smell anything. No. It smells good. <laughs> right. It's the rosemary. And oh you can use goodness. mint or you can, you know, and again, essential oils. I mean, it's a way to be creative as well. It's okay. a great creative way. Thanks, Berlin. Thanks for all the tips. Thanks, Lois. Nice Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, do you find you're always forgetting something?